you how to check the operating system on your TI 83s or 84. So let's go through the button pushing. You'll press, uh, of course you'll turn it on, and then you press um, second plus. And you get the memory page, and we're interested in number one about. And so it tells us our operating system is 2.53 math print, MP is math print. It's our product number and our ID number, it, and where you go for help if you need help. So uh, 2.53 MP is the newer operating system for the 84, so we're set there. If I ever have to have service on this calculator, TI is going to ask me this information, product number and ID number, and that's where you find it. So this one's ready to go. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the operating system on a TI-83 or TI-84. So here we have a, a, a TI-84 with a newer operating system and the, we left the little green Chanel stem on the one that needs to be upgraded. The first thing you do is you take your um, I.O. cord and you connect them. You can also use the mini USB to mini USB cord if you've got that. Then, on the calculator that needs to be upgraded, I press second link, which is second in your variable key, and we get this screen, and I right arrow to the word receive, and press enter. And it says waiting. It must be waiting before you send the operating system. So on the calculator that has the most up-to-date operating system, we press second link, or second variable key, and I'm going to send, but I need to send the operating system. So I up arrow, for most of you guys, it'll be up arrow twice to the letter G, and it says send OS, which is send operating system. And then you right arrow, I'm um, sorry, you just press enter. It's on send, we're sending the OS, and I press enter. Now, on the calculator that I'm upgrading, it will probably say, OS upgrade, continue or quit. There is a warning because it's going to erase anything that you have on there. Hopefully it's okay to erase everything. You will have to hit number one or enter for continue. Now you'll see I am sending 2.53 MP, which is math print. It's the one that makes uh, fractions look like fractions and you use the alpha y equals, alpha window and alpha zoom key for some extra things. It takes about five minutes, maybe 10. You have to have new batteries before you do it. And here's your little up, your progress bar. When they're finished, it'll just say done. And that's all there is. And then you unplug and do it again. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. So let me show you what your calculators look like now. So you have sent the operating system. The one sending says done. And on the new one, it says TI plus silver edition, 2.53 math print. RAM cleared, press alpha, uh, F1 to F4 to locate the shortcut menus. That's the update. So this is how you know this one's updated. And just to show you, alpha is the green button. When you push Y equals, you get a fraction template. N over D means numerator over denominator. So when I press enter, it literally has fractions looking like fractions. The alpha window has a bunch of short keys. We no longer have to go to catalog for our absolute value. Number one is absolute value. And so I type my absolute value. Oh, it's gonna have an error because I didn't have a denominator. So I'll go to number two and put myself a denominator in there and press enter. And so that, that's absolute value of eight divided by four gave us the answer of two. So absolute values now there, a shortcut key, our summation key, derivative key, integer, uh, function of integer key, and the log base. I wanna show you guys that for algebra two, uh, which would be five. Logs now look like logs. We don't, have, we'll still have to teach the change of base uh, uh, theorem, but we would, don't have to, the kids don't have to manipulate the calculator to make it look like that. So if I did log base two of eight and press enter, we now get three. I don't have to say log eight divided by log two like we did in the past. Alpha zoom gives us our matrix key. I can build my matrix straight from here. I don't have to second matrix, right arrow, edit, and all of that, save it as A. I can build it right on the screen, just label it size and go for it. And then alpha trace, 
is my variable key. So when I want to paste things in Y1, Y2, Y3, I no longer have to go vars, right arrow, enter, enter. I can just alpha trace and pick the, the Y function I want to paste it into. So those are a quick thing of the shortcuts, and um, that's what you get with five point or 2.53 MP. There may be a 2.55 out there, uh, but we'll update uh, at the end of May when there is even a newer update. So good luck.